Hello and welcome to this Astranti video. Now what you see in front of you is an extract from our P2 module on pricing strategies, which is part of our SEMA management level materials. And in this video, we're going to be specifically covering price elasticity. Now this topic comes up in P2 at management level, and it also comes up at certificate level in BA1 and the BA2 exams. Now price elasticity will show various impacts that a change in price can have and it is one of the most important economic formulas that you'll need to know for your SEMA exams. Now before we get into the video, if you want to see more materials like this, you can head on over to the Astranti website where we offer a full course of SEMA materials including the one that you see on screen right now. Now without further ado, I'll hand you over to our subject expert. Now we're going to look at other factors that can impact pricing, looking at price elasticity. And price elasticity is generally called the price elasticity of demand. And this is essentially when you've got a situation where your price is equal to your supply and any increase in the price causes a decrease in the supply and any decrease in the price causes an increase in the supply. And I'll give you an example to illustrate this better. And this is the example of Bob and his donuts. And Bob owns a market stall in a local market street where he's been selling his donuts for many years. And he sells his donuts for one dollar each. So for every donut that he sells, he sells it for one dollar and generates one dollar in revenue. And he sells 200 donuts a day, so generating $200 in revenue. Now, would doubling his prices, so doubling his prices to $2 per donut, reduce his sales? Now, of course it would. It's not going to be a case of everyone that was paying $1 for a donut is suddenly going to say, OK, I'll pay twice for that donut. But the key factor here is how much will his sales reduce? Now, if his sales reduce by more than half, then actually the increase in price would not make up for it. If he was only selling 80 donuts per day for $2, then his actual revenue would be $160. So it would be less than he would have made selling 200 a day for $1. But if it only impacts the amount he sells very slightly, for example, if his sales were to go down to 190, then it would be worth doing. Because whilst he would be selling 10 less, he would be making double for every single donut. So his actual revenue, if he sold 190 at $2, would be $380. So it would be much more than the $200 per day that he was initially making. And price elasticity is calculated by taking the change in demand and dividing it by the change in price and it can be elastic this is where there is a change in the demand if there is a change in price or it can be inelastic this is where there is not a change in demand when there is a change in price and vice versa so let's take a look at each of these individually starting with elastic this is when there is a price elasticity of greater than one so when you are using this formula here it comes out with a PE of greater than one and this means that a change in the price will have a significant impact on demand and a change to demand will have a significant impact on the price and for inelastic this is when that PE is less than one this is where a change in the price will not impact demand and when a change in demand will not impact the price. So let's take a look at elastic more closely. So if we've got our price on this particular axis, the y-axis and the quantity on the x-axis and the initial price gives us this amount of quantity. Now if a change in the price has a significant change in the quantity, this will mean that there is a high PE rating. And you can see here, looking at the graph, that a simple, small change in price 
had a substantial impact on the amount of products that were sold. So this would generally be items that are considered luxuries. So biscuits, wine, cheese, things that people do not need. When there is a change in the price, it can be a huge change in the quantity. If people are used to paying a certain amount for wine and suddenly there's a huge increase in the price, they think, well, you know what, I can go without wine for a bit. Likewise, if suddenly biscuits are on offer at half price, it may lead to a huge increase in the demand for them because individuals are thinking, I usually wouldn't bother splurging for a tin of biscuits, but if it's on half price, I'm going to treat myself. Inelastic is the opposite. Again, bringing up a graph, this is where the price and the quantity is pretty much set. And a big change in price will have very little impact on the quantity and vice versa. So it has a very low PE rating. And this is your more essential items. So bread, milk, petrol, things that regardless of how much the price goes up or down, people are just going to be purchasing anyway because they have to have bread, they have to have milk, they have to have petrol for their car. They're going to have to pay the price regardless of what it is.